Warren Buckleitner, and today I'm looking at the uh, solar system for iPad. It's a $14 app from Touch Press. These are the people that brought us the elements. And it takes 842 megabytes of space on your um, iPad. So is it worth it? I think absolutely. Let's find out why. Like the other uh, title, The Elements, there's a song. I'll let you listen to a little bit of that. If I want to skip the song, I can jump right to the uh, planets. Just like the elements, I can touch any of these and jump back to it. Any planet that I want to learn more about. And you can see that they're arranged here by order of the solar system with the moons going down. So if I go into the sun, down in the bottom here, I see the main way that this app is organized. There is a slider that goes from the sun on out into outer space. And so it's a real quick spatial way of organizing this, all this information. I counted about 200 full screens of information. Now one of the coolest things about this app and what makes it worth the $14 is that I can touch the solar system and I can jump out. Now I've tried to explain this to how the the uh, planets rotate to kids many times. I've used models and so on. This is what I, I like to think of as a virtual manipulative. So I can take an abstract concept and I can let a kid play with it with their finger. This is uh, cognitive gold because uh, it just makes the connections. Then I can let kids play with the relationship by sliding the time from uh, one second to one second on up to one second equals 1.64 years. So obviously that's not something you could easily do with a classroom model. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so let's get into some nuts and bolts here. Um, let's take a Let's go back to a planet. Let's just choose Saturn. And here I can do the things I'd expect I'd, that I'd like to do on an iPad. Um, I can learn more about Saturn specifically by sort of forwarding through and zooming into the different kinds of um, encyclopedic pages about it. Um, then one of the things I can do is go to a gallery and see real pictures of Saturn for each of these pictures again this is just exactly what I want to do with this I'm just gonna put hundreds and hundreds of real rich bits of information at a child's fingertips pretty pretty wonderful thing to just explore um, now, full disclosure, I was a science teacher, so I'm, I get pretty excited about this kind of stuff. Uh, one click to the web, to, to Wolfram Alpha Encyclopedia, in case I want to see some of the specifics of um, if anything about Saturn has changed. This, is a this makes this a dynamic app. One of the things I noticed that I, that, that I didn't see, that I always like on any sort of a reference, is some form of search. Um, there is a, a directory here that I can zoom right in. Um, but if I wanted to search on, say, one of the Saturn's moons, or uh, um, I, I'd kind of like to zoom in on that um, faster. However, that's a pretty minor complaint. All in all, um, there's so much just laid at your fingertips, there's not much to not like about the solar system. Um, all in all, well worth the the very pricey $14 and 850 uh, megabytes of space. Um, I'm uh, really excited by this app. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.